All right, folks, today let's talk about uh, IQ file analysis. And uh, today I'm your presenter there, uh, Dr. Moonjohn. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, uh, what the heck is an IQ file? Well, an IQ file is basically uh, we hook an IQ demodulator and we record the I and Q data. And this allows us to record uh, basically any type of uh, radio frequency signal. At various uh, IQ formats, uh, most of the SDR software out there will record it as a WAV file. And that is the left channel will be the I and the right channel will be the Q. And that's what we'll go through today. So we'll record some RF and we'll use uh, that good old fancy GNU radio to uh, decode and demodulate IQ uh, radio signals. See the link below this video where I post a example IQ file that you can follow along and uh, do yourself and get hands-on experience. <laughs> And uh, you can also install GNU Radio for those of you running Windows. And uh, the version I have posted is the GNU version that I use. And quite frankly, it's probably one of the most stable ones and works with the Red Pattaya, which is the main reason why I use this particular version of GNU Radio. All right, so if you click that link below there, you should see uh, these files. The two circled ones are the main ones you want. The first file is the actual IQ file that I made, so you can download that and uh, follow along. And if you do not have GNU Radio installed, well, today's your lucky day. Also, the next circled thing is a uh, Windows version of GNU Radio that you can download, install, and then follow along. Now, the nice part about this talk today is you don't need any hardware, any SDR hardware. All you need is your crap top computer and uh, a strong cup of coffee or maybe moonshine. <laughs> All right, so uh, get GNU Radio installed or if you already got it installed, open it up. And uh, this is what it looks like here. It's basically a blank canvas. And uh, you click that little magnifying glass and search for certain things and you just drag it into your canvas there and connect the arrows up and make a flow graph. It's, uh, it really is that simple. So not much coding, just uh, kind of like paint by numbers. You just drag the boxes in and connect them up. So uh, yeah, this is user friendly uh, here. I mean, if, if you can't follow this, uh, yeah, you, you got some problems. So this is not code, just draw the boxes and connect them up. All right, so if we wanna look at our IQ file, again, the IQ file we're saying is a WAV file. This would be how you would bring it into GNU Radio and let us look at the spectrum of this file and see what's been recorded or captured. So this is a simple flow graph of uh, how we would do that. And when we look at the uh, FFT of the data here, it's pretty clear. We see uh, looks like two amplitude modulated signals and looks like we've got one at an offset of minus 10 kilohertz. And we got another uh, AM signal looks like it's centered at a seven kilohertz offset. So we'll go through how we can uh, demodulate these uh, signals and play them through your computer sound card. All right, so let's say we're interested in tuning in the signal that's at a 10 kilohertz offset. Well, the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to shift or frit that signal at 10 kilohertz, negative 10, up to zero hertz. Now, how we do that is we multiply it by a 10 kilohertz sine wave a positive 10 kilohertz in that it will shift the signal from negative 10 up to zero hertz. So that's what this flow graph you're looking at here is uh, gonna do. It's gonna bring in the IQ data, multiply the entire IQ data by a 10 kilohertz uh, positive phaser, and then we're gonna look at the uh, FFT and see what it did. All right, now we look at this FFT here and 
we can clearly see now we got a signal centered at zero uh, hertz that's exactly what we want but we're still seeing that other am signal and we'd like to filter that out so uh, how do we do that well we could put a low pass filter in or probably the easiest way is we'll just downsample the signal from 48 kilohertz to 12 kilohertz and by reducing that sample rate that other signal will be automatically filtered and thrown away and that's exactly what we'll do we'll shift the signal still by 10 and immediately after that we will decimate the iq data by four so now our effective iq data rate is 12 kilohertz and we'll take a picture of that and now you see we only have the one AM signal that we're interested in and has been centered to zero Hertz. So we're ready now to demodulate and send to the sound card. Oh boy. So here is our uh, final graph of how we're tuning in the AM signal that's at a negative 10 kilohertz offset. I also injected a automatic gain control such that if the signal was uh, weak or maybe fading, this AGC will try to level that and give us a constant uh, power level. Once we have done that, we convert the IQ data to magnitude, and then we run it through an audio uh, bandpass filter, which will allow 60 hertz to five kilohertz through. Uh, then we send it out to the sound card at a 12 kilohertz rate and hopefully you will be able to hear your AM signal. And if you wanted to tune in the other AM signal, we would simply change the signal source frequency from a 10 kilohertz to a negative seven kilohertz, and that will shift the negative seven or positive seven kilohertz signal down to DC. So that's why you wanna make that frequency in that case negative so that it would literally shift the signal down. All right, well, that's a simple way to uh, understand IQ data and we're using GNU radio. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.